Rossi, I'll start this time with Rossi and a lemon yellow. And again, starting at the top, working my way. But see how if we start with the lighter colours, it's then easier. Just put the darks over the top and help them to stand out. See if I go real Payne's grey now, you get nice and nice and dark. You can see how that stands out as we work our way along. Rush Sienna. Bit of lemon yellow, ultramarine. Just using the corner of the brush. And it gives us that nice foliage effect as we work our way down the page. Again, ultramarine, Payne's grey, nice and dark. Down there, you can see how that's really starting to stand out now, that nice contrast from light to dark. A bit of roast, you know. We'll see any down here. And again, with a finger now, just a few. Just try and keep it subtle. Very easy to overdo. Another one lower down again, some bits of grasses and reeds growing down by the river bank. Let's get some really dark bits of grassy down the bottom there I think. And then what I might do, clean the brush. Once the brush is clean, There's a little, just a very tiny little beach section. So I'm just going to go raw sienna, raw sienna, just a touch of Payne's grey, and then just have a very quick sweep. Let me touch of ultramarine there, just to darken it up a bit. So just tiny little tiny little beach area. And then around there we've got some grass. And again another just a quick sweep. Keep varying the colour. Keep varying the colour as we go around, most important. Otherwise it'll just look so boring and bland. And that's just a very little simple impression of the scene we've got in front of us. Hope you enjoyed that. If we take another look at the the view we've got here, you can see how I've just simplified everything. You see the uh, the far trees over there in the distance. Although they do, they look the same sort of green as you've got here in the foreground. Pushing them, making them more blue helps push them into the distance more towards the distant horizon. You can also see how using the uh, the raw sienna and ultramarine and just bringing them down into the water area at the same time as we do the sky really helps with the, the colour harmony. And when we look at all this foliage all these twigs and branches and, and reeds and what have not it's it's difficult to know where to start for the novice but just using the corner of the brush and working our way down methodically it, it's it's uh it's not too difficult to create our own impression of nature and all those those twigs and branches you can see there 
can be you know, fairly fairly simply replicated again by the uh, using the fingernail. But the secret is you've got to get it in when it's it's, it's about half dry. Plenty of paint, not too much water. And then you'll be able to scrape them straight in without too much difficulty. You can see how there is actually just the, the one fence post in there. But I elaborated on it slightly, put a, another you know, a couple more pieces in, plus the cross pieces, just to try and add a bit of uh, extra interest. And you can see there's not too much happening here in this sort of immediate foreground shore area. But you can see with just a few sweeps of the hike, just varying the colour, we can still try and keep it um, quite interesting really.